Now, in this lesson, I'm going to discuss monotonic sequences. Now, what do we mean by monotonic sequences? Guys, a monotonic sequence is a sequence that is always moving in one direction. And guys, this can either be increasing or decreasing. So monotonic sequences is going to move in one direction. And it can, it can either be increasing or decreasing. Yes? So this is what we know as monotonic sequences. These are going to move in one direction and it is either going to be increasing or decreasing. Let me give you a graphical representation of monotonic sequences. Now let's take a look at this graph. Let's say we have a graph that look something like this. Let's say we have a graph that looks something like this. Guys, this is going to be an example of increasing monotonic sequences. Because, guys, if you take a look at this graph, you're going to find out that the first term, which is the first point, is always going to be lesser than the next term. Guys, that is the first term, which is A1, is always going to be lesser than the next term. And the second term, which is A2, is always going to be lesser than the next term, which is A2. So this is an example of increasing monotonic sequence. Okay, guys? Now, let's also take a look at a graphical representation of decreasing monotonic sequence. Okay, guys? So let's take a look at this graph. Let's say we have a graph that looks something like this. Now, guys, this is going to be an example of decreasing monotonic sequence. Because, guys, if you take a look at this graph, you're going to find out that the first term, which is A1, is going to be greater than the next term, which is A2. This is A1. So the first term, which is A1, is going to be greater than the next term, which is A2. And the second term is going to be greater than the next term, which is a theory. So guys, the first term, A1, is going to be greater than A2, and the second term, which is A2, is going to be greater than the third term, A3. That is to say, the next term is always going to be greater than the previous term. So this is going to be an example of decreasing monotonic sequence. Okay, guys? So let me write it here. This is decreasing monotonic sequence and this is increasing monotonic sequence okay guys so this is what we know as monotonic sequence so guys let's take a look at an example so let me erase this off okay guys let's take a look at the first example now let's say we have a sequence a sub n is equal to 6n divide 2n plus 4. Now, guys, what will determine if this sequence is going to be monotonic increasing or monotonic decreasing? Okay, guys? Now, guys, the first step you want to take is you want to try to write out the nth term of this sequence, okay? That is, you want to find the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, etc. Okay? So, you, because you want to take a look at the pattern, okay? You want to take a look at the pattern of this term. Okay, guys? So, this is going to be A1, okay? So, we are going to find the first term, which is A1, is equal to, meaning you are going to plug 1, whatever you see, N. Okay, guys? So, this is going to be 6 multiply 1, Divide 2, multiply 1, plus 4. Okay, guys? And, guys, if you evaluate this, you are going to have 1, okay? So this is going to be the first term, A1. The second term, A2. This is going to be 6, multiply 2. Divide 2, multiply 2, plus 4. And, guys, if you evaluate this, you are going to have the value of 1.5. So this is the second term. Let's also find the third term, A3. So this is going to be 6 multiplied 3, divide 2 multiplied 3 plus 4. 
Now, guys, if you evaluate this, you are going to have 1.8. So, guys, let's take a look at one more term, which is the fourth term. Okay? So, this is A4. So, guys, this is going to be 6 multiply 4. Okay? That is, whatever you see N, you are going to plug 4. Then divide 2 multiply 4 plus 4. Now, guys, if you evaluate this, we are going to have 2. Now, guys, take a look at this sequence. As you can see, the first term is 1. The second term is 1.5. The third term is 1.8. The fourth term is 2. Now, guys, what can we say about this sequence? As you can see, guys, this sequence is basically increasing. Okay? This is increasing because the first term, which is A1, is lesser than the second term, which is 1.5. And this is also lesser than the third term, which is 1.8. It is also lesser than the fourth term, which is 2. So, guys, this is going to be a monotonic increasing sequence, okay? So, this is monotonic increasing, okay, guys? Because the previous term is always lesser than the next term. Now, guys, sometimes you might ask to prove that this sequence is indeed increasing. Now, if you want to prove this sequence, if you want to prove whether this sequence is increasing or not, what I'm going to do is, you are going to say, A sub N needs to be lesser than or equal to A sub N plus 1. Okay, guys? That is to say, the first term, which is A1, is always going to be lesser than or equal to the second term. Okay, guys? So, if you want to prove that this sequence is indeed going to be a monotonic increasing sequence, you need to prove that A sub N need to be lesser than A sub N plus 1. Okay, guys? So, let's take a look at this. Let's see how we can prove whether this sequence is going to be monotonic increasing. Okay, guys? So, guys, what is A sub N? A sub n is basically 6n divided 2n plus 4, okay? So this is going to be 6n divided 2n plus 4. So guys, this needs to be lesser than or equal to A sub n plus 1. Guys, this is going to be 6 multiply n plus 1, okay? Whatever you see n, you are going to add 1, okay, guys? So this is divided by 2 multiply n plus 1. 1, okay? Because whatever you see n, you are going to add 1, okay, guys? Then plus 4. Now, guys, we need to show that 6n over 2n plus 4 is lesser than 6 multiply n plus 1 divide 2 multiply n plus 1 plus 4, okay, guys? So we need to prove this. Now, guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to try to evaluate this, okay? So this is going to be 6n divide 2n plus 4 is lesser than or equal to. So, guys, you are going to distribute the 6, okay? So, this is going to be 6n plus 6, okay? Then divide by... So, you are also going to distribute the value of 2, okay? So, this is going to be 2n plus 2. Okay, guys, 2n plus 2 plus 4. Guys, 2 plus 4 is going to give us 6, okay? So, instead of writing 2, we can write 6, Okay, guys? Now, what, what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. Okay, guys? So, this is going to be 6n multiplied 2n plus 6. Okay, guys? Is lesser than or equal to... Is lesser than or equal to 6n plus 6 multiplied 2n plus 4. Okay, guys? Now, we are going to evaluate this. We are going to multiply 6n with 2n plus 6. Okay, guys? So, this is going to be 12n squared plus 36n need to be lesser than or equal to. Now, guys, 6n plus 6 multiply 2n plus 4, we are going to have 12n squared plus 24n plus 12n plus 24. Now, guys, if we subtract 12n squared from both sides, that is 12n squared. It's going to cancel out, right? So, many we are left with 36n is lesser than or equal to 24n plus 12n is going to give us 36n, right? 
So this is 36n plus 24. Now guys, if we subtract 36n from both sides, meaning 36n is going to cancel out, right? So meaning we are left with 0 on the left is lesser than or equal to 24. Now guys, what can we say about this? Is 0 lesser than 24? Yes, 0 is lesser than 24, meaning this is indeed going to be a monotonic increasing sequence. Okay, guys? So, meaning we prove that A sub N is lesser than A subscript N plus 1. That is, the first term is always going to be lesser than the second term. Okay, guys? So, this is how we can prove whether the sequence is going to be monotonic increasing. Okay, guys? So, let's take a look at one more example. Now, let's take a look at another example. So this is going to be the this is going to be the second example. Okay, guys. Now let's say we have a sub n is equal to three n divide n raised to the power of three. Now, guys, we want to determine if this is going to be a monotonic increasing or monotonic decreasing sequence. Okay, guys. Now, guys, the first step you want to take is you want to try to write out the n term of the sequence. That is, you want to find your first, second, third, fourth term, etc. Okay, guys? So let's take a look at the first term. Okay? The first term, which is A1, is going to be equal to. Now, guys, you are going to plug 1 wherever you see n. Okay, guys? So this is going to be 3 multiply 1, which is 3, then divide 1 raised to the power of 3 which is 1. So 3 divided 1 is also 3. So this is the first term. The second term, which is A2, is going to be 3 multiplied 2. Okay? Whatever you see N, you are going to plug 2. Then divide by 2 raised to the power of 3. Okay, guys? Now, guys, if you evaluate this, we are going to have 0 0.75. Now, let's take a look at the third term, which is A3. So we are going to plug the value of 3 in place of N. Okay? So this is going to be 3 multiplied 3 divide 3 raised to the power of 3. So guys, if you evaluate this, we are going to have 0 0.33. Now let's take a look at one more term, which is the fourth term. This is A4. Whatever you see N, you are going to plug 4. Okay? So this is going to be 3 multiply 4. Okay? Then divide by 4 raised to the power of 3. And guys, if you evaluate this, you are going to have 0 0.19. Now guys, let's take a look at this sequence. The first term is 3, right? The second term is 0 0.75. The third term is 0 0.33. And the fourth term is 0 0.19. Now, guys, what can we say about this? As you can see, this sequence is basically decreasing, okay? Because the first term is 3. The second term is 0 0.75, which is lesser than the first term. And the third term is 0 0.33, which is lesser than the second term. Then the fourth term is 0 0.19, which is lesser than the third term. Meaning this is monotonic decreasing. Okay, guys? So this is monotonic decreasing because the next term is always greater than the previous term. Now, guys, if we want to prove that this sequence is indeed monotonic decreasing. We are going to say A sub N, okay? A sub N is always going to be greater than A sub N plus 1. Okay, guys? Or that is, or we can also say A1 is always greater than or equal to A2. Okay, that is the first term is always greater than the next term. Now, let's see how we can prove that this sequence is indeed going to be monotonic decreasing. So, we're going to say A sub N is always going to be greater than or equal to A sub N plus 1. Okay, guys? Now, what is A sub N? A sub N is 3N divide N raised to the power of 3. Okay? So, this is going to be 3N divide N raised to the power of 3 needs to be greater than or equal to a sub n plus 1, that is 3 multiply n plus 3 multiply n plus 1 needs, sorry guys, divided by n plus 1 
raised to the power of three. Okay? You are going to plug one. Sorry, you are going to add one. Whatever you see n. Okay? Now we need to prove this. Okay, guys? We need to prove this. So what, what I'm going to do is you are going to multiply. Okay? You are going to cross multiply. So this is going to be 3n multiply n plus 1 raised to the power of 3. Okay? Is greater than or equal to 3, 3n. Okay, guys? So this is going to be 3n plus 3. Okay? Because you are going to multiply 3 with the value inside the parentheses. Okay? So this is 3n plus 3 then multiply by n raised to the power of 3. Okay? So let me write this here, guys. So, now, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to say n plus 1 raised to the power of 3. This is going to give us n plus 1 multiply n plus 1 multiply n plus 1. Okay, guys? So if we evaluate this, we are going to have 3n multiply n raised to the power of 3 plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. Okay, guys? So this is the value of n plus 1 raised to the power of 3. So, guys, this is this needs to be greater than or equal to... Uh, guys, n raised to the power of 3 multiply 3n is going to give us 3n raised to the power of 4. Then plus n raised to the power of 3 multiply 3 is going to give us 3n raised to the power of 3. Okay, guys? So, guys, we need to evaluate this. So we're going to multiply 3n with the value inside the parentheses. Okay? So this is going to be 3n raised to the power of 4 plus 3n raised to the power of 3 plus 3n raised to the power of 2. Okay, guys? Then plus 3n. Okay? Because we basically multiply 3n with the value inside the parentheses. Okay, guys? So this needs to be greater than or equal to 3n raised to the power of 4 plus 3n raised to the power of 3. Now, guys, if we subtract 3n raised to the power of 4 on both sides, meaning the 3n raised to the power of 4 is going to cancel out. Okay, guys? So we're having 3n raised to the power of 3, okay, plus 3n squared plus 3n need to be greater than or equal to 3n raised to the power of 3. Now, guys, if we also subtract 3n raised to the power of 3 on both sides, meaning they are going to cancel out, right? So we are left with 3n squared plus 3n is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, guys? Now, guys, if we plug, if we plug any value of n, if we plug any value of n, let's say we plug the value of n equal to 1, now, guys, this is going to be 3 multiply 1 raised to the power of 2 plus 3 multiply 1. Now, guys, 3 multiply 1 raised to the power of 2 is 3. Then 3 plus 3 is going to give us 6. Okay? Meaning 6 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay? Now, if we also plot the value of n equal to 2, if we plot the value of n equal to 2, we are going to have the answer on the left as 18. As you can see, guys, 18 is greater than or equal to 0. Meaning this is indeed going to be a monotonic decreasing sequence. Okay, guys? So meaning this is indeed going to be monotonic decreasing. Okay, guys? So this is how we can determine if a sequence is going to be monotonic increasing or if a sequence is going to be monotonic decreasing. Okay, guys? So thank you all. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the bell notification icon below so that you can get notification whenever I upload a new video. And try to share this video with your friends. Thank you, everyone. Happy New Year.